Arctic rocks, some billions of years old, have fascinating stories to tell. Stories about the past and the forces that shape and change our Earth. For example, a granite boulder recently discovered atop a glacier tells scientists that long ago, eastern Antarctica might have been connected to the southwestern United States. Surprising? That's not all. Coal found within the Transantarctic Mountains tells of an Antarctica dramatically different than today, warm, ice-free, and covered by plants. The rocks found in Antarctica have much to tell about the continent's past. But what types of rocks are found there, and how do they form? Coal, sandstone, and other sedimentary rocks share a long, slow history. They are formed from small pieces of rock, bones, shells, or plants that are compressed and cemented under large amounts of pressure. Formed from hardened magma or lava, igneous rock tells the story of Antarctica's volcanic history. Even today, Mount Erebus, the largest volcano on the continent, is extremely active. The metamorphic rocks on the continent speak to the immense heat and pressure of Earth's changing and moving crust. Yet these rocks, though old, are not static. Some are being eroded by wind or ice, breaking into sediments which will eventually form new rock. Others are buried deep in the earth and subjected to extreme pressure and heat. These rocks may either change forms or melt. Once that magma reaches earth's surface, it will harden, once again forming rock. This process of change, the rock cycle, is driven by the movement of Earth's plates. It helps recycle rocks and create new ones. These stories are not unique to the rocks of Antarctica. Rocks and minerals around the world share similar histories. So the next time you see a rock, take a closer look. You'll be amazed at the stories it can tell.